Hi, this is Dr. A with a clinical chemistry re review. We're going to look at therapeutic drug monitoring of anti-epileptic drugs. Okay, so anti-epileptic drugs are anticonvulsants, meaning um, they will help uh, with seizures. Most anti-epileptics will block sodium influx into the neurons that uh, have damaged membranes and that will lessen the neuron firing. Uh, numer numerous anti-epileptic drugs are available. Many patients may take multiple drugs to, to control their seizures. Um, many of these drugs require a specimen to be sent to a reference lab to be analyzed. The phenytoin, carbamazepine, and valproic acid are commonly available on either clinical chemistry or immunoassay analyzers and are done by clinical labs all over the country. So the first anti-epileptic drug is going to be phenobarbital. It is it's a slow-acting barbiturate uh, that effectively controls several types of seizures. It is a sedative. Uh, it binds GABA receptors in the central nervous system. It is used for anxiety and sleep also. Uh, and you can, the patient can develop tolerance and dependence. So uh, tolerance meaning that they will need more and more to have the effect and dependence, uh, meaning that they uh, basically become addicted to it. And the toxicity of uh, phenobarbital is uh, central nervous system depression. So they can easily overdose and kind of go into a coma. Uh, primidone, it metabolizes into phenobarbital and it binds GABA receptors in the central nervous system. It is an inactive form of phenobarbital, primidone is rapidly absorbed in the GI tract and converted to its active form, which is phenobarbital. Primidone is preferred over phenobarbital when you need steady state kinetics need to be established very quickly. Phenytoin, also known as dilantin uh, or phosphenytoin, um, they are commonly used to treat seizures. Um, they inhibit the sodium channel. It is, this one is not a sedative. It is used as a short-term prophylactic agent in brain injury to prevent the loss of functional tissue. Uh, the toxicity is exhibited as central nervous system depression. And phosphenatoin is an injectable proform of phenytoin that is rapidly metabolized, about 75 minutes, uh, to form the parent drug, phenytoin. Valproic acid, also known as valproate or depakine or depakote, uh, it is used as a monotherapy for the treatment of petit mal or absent seizures. It binds uh, GABA transaminase, uh, and when there's an overdose, it will be in a coma. Carbamazepine, also known as teratol, it's an effective treatment in various seizures disorders. It keeps a voltage-gated sodium channels inactive. Um, because of its serious toxic adverse effect, it is less frequently used. Um, mild toxicity will show vomiting, ataxia, rashes, leukopenia, nausea, vertigo, and febrile reactions. Severe toxicity will show seizures and respiratory depression and many other symptoms. Um, Ethyl succinamide or zorontin uh, is used for controlling petit mal seizures. Uh, it is a calcium channel blocker, and the toxicity is shown with nausea, vomiting, anorexia, dizziness, lethargy, and of course also coma. Clonazepam or clonopin is a benzodiazepine that is related to Valium, which is diazepam, and it is used to treat panic disorders. Felbamate or felbatol. It is primarily indicated for use in severe epilepsies. It is an orally administered drug that is nearly completely absorbed by the GI tract. It is known for its toxicity. It is primarily indicated in severe epilepsies such as the lennox gastaut syndrome uh, in children and uh, refractory epilepsy in adults. Gabapentin, also known as Neurontin, um, it may be indicated as a monotherapy or in conjunction with other anti-epileptic drugs in patients suffering from complex partial seizures with or without generalized seizures. It is a chemical analog of GABA. Lamotrigine um, is used to treat patients with partial and generalized seizures. It is a GABA antagonist. Um, 
Levetiracetam or Keppra is indicated in partial and generalized seizures. It has an unknown mechanism. The toxic effects are decreased red cells, hematocrits, and neutrophils. And um, oxcarbazepine, also known as traleptol, is indicated for the monotherapy of partial seizures and in secondarily generalized tonic clonic seizures and to treat bipolar disorder. It is a prodrug that is almost immediately metabolized into lycarbazepine. It blocks sodium ion channels, which reduces neuronal firing, and uh, the toxicity is evidenced as hyponatremia. Um, Tiagabine or Gabatril is used in the treatment of partial seizures. It is not known exactly how Tiagabine works. Sorry, I'm not 100% sure how that pronounced. Uh, but it does increase the amount of uh, natural chemicals in the brain that prevent seizure activity. The adverse central nervous system side effects have been noted, including confusion, difficulty in speaking clearly, so stuttering mild sedation and a tingling sensation in the body's extremities or paresthesia, uh, especially in the hands and fingers. Topiramate, also known as Topamax, Topamax um, is indicated in partial and generalized seizures. It is used as a preventative medicine for migraine headaches, but it, does, it cannot relieve the pain of a migraine that has already started. It decreases abnormal excitement in the brain uh, by blocking voltage-dependent sodium and calcium channels. It also inhibits the excitatory glutamate pathway while enhancing the inhibitory effects of GABA. And last one is zonisamide or zonagran. It's indicated in partial and generalized seizures. It works by decreasing the abnormal electrical activity in the brain. It is believed to exert anticonvulsant effects by blocking sustained repetitive neuronal firing via a blockade of voltage-sensitive sodium uh, channels and by reducing the voltage-sensitive T-tap calcium channels. So again, works on sodium and, uh, sodium and calcium channels and uh, blocks the firing of the neurons and stuff like that. A lot of, uh, again, these drug levels are going to be done via immunoassays. Some of them have to be sent to reference labs. And um, that's it. That's it for the end.